Yo, what is going on, my people out there? So I'm terrible, as you guys know, <laughs> at keeping track of what I do out here. Just uh, the sheer lack of motivation, I guess, or time, really. Anyway, I think the last video I made, the cab was still on the original frame over there. And um, I was building that frame with that engine, or I don't know if I had already set the cab. So, I had already done the floor, kind of, started doing the floor original, because he wanted the customer to keep the truck original. And he had bought that frame, and it's really wide. So the original fenders were going to fit, but we he's going to have to get uh, some rims that were like tucked in, like the offset. Long story short, like at 2 in the morning, the fucking customer's like, hey, you know what? Just turn it into a fenderless rat rod with a, like a 32 Ford front end, because like he's been seeing all these rat rods. And he had seen, seen it here sitting without the front end. He's like, oh, it looks cool. But I told him, you know what? It's never gonna look good, like all high up like that and shit. We need to channel the fucking floor. So I did, I cut the fucking floor out. It was all rusted out too, so the reason he did it also was cause he was starting to notice, like I had told him, this truck's too fucking far gone to make it like a, what's well, gonna take a lot of money to make it into a complete, you know, exact restoration because like, the previous owner had already made all these panels out of aluminum you know, and while, like, I'm basically getting it running and charging him for, like, setting up the engine and, like, mounting the cab and shit, but, and some of the floor I wasn't going to replace, but when it got too crazy, I told him, well, we can just leave it like that, and I can just patch up the floor, and then he started thinking, well, you know what, I like how it looks fenderless, I got a fuckload of rain last night, so it sucks, I'm trying to go around it, <laughs> yeah, I got a fucking shitstorm, you should do this in rain here, as much but so um I shortened the bed this is a piece that I cut off and I'm gonna use that piece to extend the bottom because I wanted to like have the same line as the truck without losing floor and I'm also gonna put a lot a whole fucking panel here that reaches all the way to where I'm gonna make that but that's later, it's hard to explain. I explained it to the customer, and then he didn't understand until he actually came and saw me fucking like physically showing what I'm gonna do, so whatever I just said, I don't expect you to understand what the fuck, but it's gonna happen. And then, um, so right now the bed's sitting a little tilted this way, because I have, I have to still set up the rear mounts, and I'm gonna put these rubber isolators that are somewhere in here, I don't know, somewhere under the tank, it's cause like I drove it and everything moved, but yeah, I'm gonna put some fucking rubber bushings like this wide from uh, 58 that I had laying around, not that it matters, I mean it's probably better than where they were new, but that's what I, ha what I have, um, and then I'm also gonna fucking, in between that frame, I'm gonna put a tow hitch that I have over there already laying under that 39, And she's running and driving, but I took the alternator off um, to fucking go get it tested. Because it's only setting out 13 bolts. Yeah. And also to see if I had it under warranty and auto zone, but I didn't. I have never replaced that type of alternator, I guess, ever in any car. So... This guy had given me this badass, like, double pumper demon carburetor, like, the QFT. And that shit started leaking, and it sucked. It wouldn't run right, and I took that shit off, and I told him, you know what? Go get that shit rebuilt, or buy a new one, or whatever, but... So, long story short, this is a fucking Ford carburetor that it's borrowed. Borrowed from my dad's Galaxy. Or, well, it used to be my brother's Galaxy, but my dad just recently bought it off of that phone. He bought the carburetor kit because it was leaking and I rebuilt it and then my dad's like, well, just use it for the fucking rat so I could put it in timing and do all this other shit because it was kind of overheating. 
but it turns out that it was leaking from a fucking freeze plug. And um, I put those rubber ones before anybody talks shit because I try to put the actual one. But the blocks kind of corrode around it and it doesn't seal right. So you know what? I said, fuck this. I'm just going to put the... That's going to be a better bet. Anyway. I got to get a valve cover gaskets for it because it's fucking leaking. But yeah, here it is. She is basically a fucking vehicle now. Let me show you. Some of this floor is still shitty. Um, it's just all tacked, and then I'm gonna put uh, that ceiling fucking bullshit. Just cause, um, like I said, a lot of this shit's aluminum because the other owner had done it, like part of the firewall and shit. And well, you know, it's a budget build out here. He got the shift to the customer. It's sick, fucking sick, yo. This kit. It was universal and it came with everything like it locks up. That's reverse Neutral drive three two one One two three Drive neutral reverse lock parking I got this wheel in the junkyard I felt like a, I don't know some old truck. It was all rusted, but look The 500 superior performance products. And it has like some little dude flying on it. Holding onto a steering wheel. A long time ago, I had my hands on a 63 Corvair Spider. And this was the horn button on that thing. And I kept it. And it was always hanging on my dad's wall. But my dad recently repainted all his fucking room. And then... My mom decided that old car parts did not look cool anymore, so he gave me all the emblems that we have been collecting back. And I had them just laying around, and this one actually fits here real good. I gotta just, it's hard to record and put it back on. But the rubber snucks, the fucking bolts, pretty ghetto style, but... It snucks it on. It's gonna stay on there too, and it seals around the bolts. And it looks good. That's meanwhile this guy buys that horn button if he ever does. I mean, who knows? I'm gonna fucking put a carpet. I don't know if this sounds safe or not, but look where the battery is. It won't come out, it's strapped. Um but we want it hidden and then it was just the best, most convenient place. And then the passenger can still sit there pretty comfortably since the seat's all laid down. I went to the junkyard and I got this brake master and brake pedal and pedal box out of a 79 Mercury Fermont that had manual brakes and a V8. Um... The gas pedal is out of a fucking 79 Suburban that luckily I found in the fucking junker and I got a bunch of shit off of it. Because I also got the steering column, brake booster, and pedal box for the 39. Because it, I'm having problems with that whole setup the previous person had done on it and it sucks. And I only got hired to like do the engine and whatever. But now that it's running, you can't even really drive it. So I'm going to fucking redo the brakes and the steering on that bitch here pretty soon. Maybe I'll make a video on that. Holy shit, I'm falling shit. Still need a headlights and a grill, but it's getting there. I'll post another video later of it driving around because I still gotta fuck with the alternator and the gas that I brought.
and um, since I'm doing directly, I don't have an editing tool, I'm just like recording directly off my phone. That's just what it's gonna be for now.